Why, hello everybody. Apparently we have 11 followers now and that just means that Mr. Ebooty is just one step closer to becoming Twitch partner. That's right. You heard it here first, folks. Today we're going to talk about how to make a VTube avatar for OBS using one plugin and no extra software other than just OBS. Now, is it going to be perfect? No. Is it going to be meme filled? Of course. It's Mr. Ebooty. Of course it's going to be meme filled. I mean, this is why you clicked on the channel. I mean, look at the thumbnail. Look at the thumbnail. If you've seen any of our stuff, you know that we have quite a, um, let's just say, interesting uh, relationship with XQC, a.k.a. I watch him. He doesn't know that I exist. And, uh, you know, that's how it goes. Today, we're going to make sure that XQC himself is slowly but surely thinking of top hats. So with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and continue. So last video, just a small recap. We went ahead, we made our background. We also made our panels here and they're just looking fantastic. And just, just perfect in every single way. And if you guys haven't already clicked this little secret icon yet, there's still availability there. But today we're finally going to leave Twitch. I think Twitch is ready at the moment and we're going to jump over to OBS. But we have a little bit of a shopping list that we have to do. This goes into a really, really big topic. But should you use OBS Studio or Streamlabs? Streamlabs has got some really cool stuff. You can apply some overlays. You can choose some. It's easy to use. You can multi-stream from it. They got like a payment plan, yada, yada, yada. The only issue is that it sucks. <gasps> and the reason being is because it's missing one key element, being open source. And the cool thing about being open source is that people on the internet that are way smarter than me have decided to make plugins and scripts that is open to anybody and completely free. And guess what? Mr. Ebooty loves his money. So we are definitely want to go with free. I don't want to bash Streamlabs. Trust me, there's really cool things to do with Streamlabs. You know, being able to install things with a click of a button to be able to, you know, change things and then multi-stream and blah, 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 blah. But it's not open source. So the first thing I want you guys to all do is go to obsproject.com and we're going to download a scale to sound plugin. And it's very, very easy. You just go here to scale to sound. I'll have the link in the description below where you go ahead and click download and we're going to grab for us the Windows zip and we're going to download. Now, once you download it and you open it up, we're going to be set with these two random files, data and OBS plugins. The easiest way to do this is we want to put these into our OBS and get it restarted. So we're going to go to our PC. For me, it's in local C. We're going to go to program files. We're going to go down to our OBS studio and you're going to start seeing some things that kind of look the same. So we're going to OBS plugins. I'm going to open up the OBS plugin here. We've got 64 bit. We're going to grab these and we're going to put them into 64 bit. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and uh, skip these files. You click on replace or whatever. Um, and you should do the same thing. So 32 bit goes to 32 bits. And we're going to go back a couple here. Then we're going to go to data. And we're going to click data. We're going to go to OBS plugins. And we're going to drag this scale to sound into OBS plugins. And that is it. That's literally how you download and install an OBS plugin. It's most of these plugins come with a downloader for dum dums like me. That is fantastic because I am way too busy thinking about mustaches and top hats in order to really want to think about things. And if we go back over here to OBS broadcast, you can go to the plugins. Look at all these plugins. Look at them. Look, there's nine pages of just massive amounts of plugins that you can use. And we're going to be using a lot of these plugins. We have a whole series of YouTube videos we're going to be making about plugins, about cool things that we're going to be doing with OBS to make this stream not only 100% professional, because of course, Mr. Ebooty is quite the professional, as we always say, but we're also going to be able to show you the power of OBS plugins. So that way you can just go ahead and get rid of Streamlabs. Just, just throw it in the bin. Wouldn't it be cool if Mr. E Booty decided to have a mascot? Oh, look, things are moving. How is that? How is that the case? Well, I'll tell you. It's because when we talk into the microphone, it moves our new avatar. Mm, just look at this avatar. Just looks deep into your eyes. In order to do this, we've downloaded the scale to sound, and I'm going to go definitely to a new scene collection. We're going to skip this one for sure. I'm going to go to streaming main. Now I'm going to show you exactly how to build this from scratch. Let's create a brand new scene collection. Let's just call this 
Okay, this is hentai. I'm going to have you make two scenes. The first scene is going to be... Mm, meme Lord. We're going to go to back end. We're going to do the same thing. So we're going to do Meme Lord. But we're also going to be doing background. And I like to put into brackets, it's called NS. And no, this is not some slang for OBS. It's called nested scenes. And we're going to show you exactly what that means later on. And as you continue, you'll understand the professionalism of what we're going to be doing here. Because, of course, you saw the image before. You saw how dapper XQC looked with a top hat. And it also the mustache and top hat and himself moved. To make this easy, we're going to use Meme Lord. And we're going to act like this is going to be our avatar. So you know what? I'm going to rename this. This is going to be Meme Lord avatar no this is not the avatar from nickelodeon so nickelodeon do not happen to sue me i have no money you will get nothing from me and like it i'm going to add a new image source it is we're going to go down here where's the where's the image sources here image there it is i found it. i found it very quickly don't ask so i'm going to do uh not xqc because i don't want xqc to also you know come after mr ebooty we just he's not ready for that yet a little let's take a little pause in the video here look at this I told you last video that it's very important that we make some kind of folder on the desktop and name it something Twitch. For me, it's Mr. E Booty because I'm making a YouTube series about Mr. E Booty on Twitch. So it's called Mr. E Booty Twitch. OBS loves it when you can just read everything from one file. What I've done is I've made a new folder. I've named this Meme Lord Camera. And we have a couple different things in here. We have our excellent mustache. We have an incoherent but lovable streamer picture, aka definitely not XQC. We also have a top hat of truth. And we have this really cool trippy tunes gif that we've done. Uh, now, what I did is I went over to Giphy. I looked at the word trippy. And then I just found one that I thought was really cool, which is one in the middle. And this one is absolutely horrendous. Whoever made that is terrible. You can right click and you can go ahead and save image as. I will make sure to make an, a giant file of the Meme Lord camera. I will put this link in the description. It's going to be a Google Drive. You can download it. Just go crazy. Follow along all the steps if you need to. You guys have made it to the middle of the video. Again, I cannot believe you guys made it all this way. The average watch time is just going up like crazy on all these videos. It's insane. It's insane. So to mark this special occasion, this is our third video in a very long series. So if you have not seen the other two videos, the check out the top right, and I'll go ahead and post those up there for you. And that way you can check out the entire playlist and catch up if you have not caught up yet. I did want to show you this one really cool thing on iLevel.com. We also can help you build your OBS or Streamlabs to send it literally anywhere. We have done it for five years. I'd be happy to help you. And if you want me to be in Mr. E Booty character, that's going to be an upcharge. But I will do it because I do love money. The big thing is this. Mr. E Booty, now that he has 11 followers, we are just one step closer to actually doing our very first live stream. So what I wanted to do before we do anything is I'm going to let you guys know that our very first stream is going to be in June. When in June, I can't tell you. But I will leave a link in the description to a Discord. And we're going to make a channel just for Mr. E Booty. It is the I leveled official Discord. My mods are going to hate me for doing this, but I don't care. And for the first 15 people that join the Discord, they type in Mr. E Booty in that Discord channel. Well, let me tell you something. Mr. E Booty is going to make an avatar just for you. We're going to find the most memeish avatar we can find. Not XQC, maybe, maybe Shroud, could be Asmongold, could be an anime character, who knows, could be a crocodile, who knows, whatever you want, I will make one for you just to show you exactly how easy this is, and if you need help, I'd be happy to help you, but I do want to let you know, we're going to be doing a community night on the very first week of June in the Discord to showcase all that we've done and get some tips and tricks out there, so if you'd like, please, please, please enjoy the rest of the video. So first and foremost, we're going to have all these pieces together. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab our incoherent but lovable streamer picture. And we're going to go ahead and look at him. Just, he's just looking dapper, you know, just just quite dapper. I'm going to go ahead and add. I'm going to do another image. And this is going to be our top hat. So let's go ahead and browse. And we'll bring our top hat of truth in here, um, which we can't see anything yet. But we will fix that. Trust me. Trust the process. And lastly... Let's bring up the mustache and browse and this excellent mustache. We'll bring that over here. Now, it's really hard to resize things if you can't see what you're doing. So we're also going to right click in under our sources. We're going to add 
and we are then going to just add a quick color source because this just makes things nice and easy and we'll just go ahead and drag this thing all the way to the bottom. This top hat's way too big for this, so we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and put the top hat. That just looks beautiful. Let's just go ahead and leave the top hat right there. I'm gonna lock this into place so I don't accidentally move it. And this mustache is a little big. So I think if we do something that's closer to like this, yes, I just, just look at it, just majestic. If you download the plugin, and you put it into the correct files and you restarted your OBS, that is also another key note, restart your OBS. We can then start to add the scale to sound. So it's pretty cool. You can either add scale to sound to a scene or a source. And what we're gonna do is do something a little crazy. We're gonna add three scales to sound to all three of these sources with different timings. In order for this to work, we obviously need some kind of audio. And of course we want that to be our microphone. So for me, I'm just using a crappy headset microphone on the second PC. Yes, I have two PCs because we're professional, duh. And then we're gonna go back to the mic and aux and we're gonna go ahead and just put this razor cracking in there and click okay and hello. When I talk, things come through which is great, right? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to not XQC over here. Uh, actually, we're gonna start with the mustache. So we're gonna go to filters and right click filters, go here, and then we're gonna find this thing that is called scale to sound. Now what this does is the audio source, mic and aux here, is gonna have uh, the ability to make this move. Now, in order for it to move, we can also mess with the size. So as we're talking, you'll notice when we talk, the mustache moves, which is awesome, but it's moving a little too much. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna smooth this out. So now it's just a little bit cleaner. Just mess with these audio thresholds. I kind of leave it standard. And then for the audio ceiling, I kind of keep it a little bit kind of around 23. I want the minimum size so that way it moves. The more minimum it is, the more that it will move. But I don't want to move too much. So let's try 60%. That seems about right. I always leave the maximum size and then we can just leave the positioning exactly where it is. Now you could just scale the width if you wanted to, which is kind of cool, or just the height if you really wanted to mess with just the height. It's up to you, you can do both. I'm gonna leave both because I think it looks awesome. I'm gonna do a scale to sound filter on every single piece of this and we'll be right back. now we're back and so now as we talk testing test now everything moves how it's supposed to which is great uh we're gonna go ahead and go to mean board background uh, before we do that let's go ahead and get rid of this color source we don't need that anymore quite honestly what we're gonna do here is we're going to add a new source this new so source is actually going to be seen so the scene from meme lord avatar it can also be a source in order for it to be a source in a different scene we're going to add it as a source to a scene you guys track in here basically to make it easy everything that's included here everything that's included here is also going to be in here um the reason we're going to do this is very very cool is because if we make any changes let's say we make changes and add filter to this scene well it's going to affect every single source in here but if we add a scene and that scene is the avatar that we wanted to use and then we make a change to the nested scene itself we can change it without changing any of the other sources in order for us to bend reality to our will and make an ultimate vtube character we have to use nested scenes and i'm going to show you exactly why because i want to give a really cool outline to our new avatar we're going to go to effects filter i'm going to go plus and i'm going to go to a color correction and then I'm gonna just crank the gamma up. I'm gonna crank the contrast up, crank the brightness up, and click okay. So now it's completely white. So if we go here, nothing. We go here, white. We go back here, nothing. We go back here, white. Same, same, but different. Before you guys say, well, that's a kind of a cool outline, but how do we make it cooler? Well, going back earlier to the video where we downloaded a GIF, this is really easy. We're gonna to go to filters, and then we're going to add, and then we're going to Go ahead and check this out. Watch me, watch me. Image mask blend. And then we're gonna browse directly to that trippy tune. So we're gonna add trippy tunes. Now this is kind of cool, but we want to add the color. So we're gonna add and blend multiply. And this gives us the full color range. And it just looks amazing. I mean, come on. So now we have this, and now we have the background. And that's kind of cool, but now we're not messing with this. So I'm gonna rename this scene. And I'm gonna say, 
average xq uh i can't say that average meme lord uh stream we're going to add a new source that new source will be a media image we'll do browse and i've also downloaded a couple of videos here so i'm going to go ahead and just download this video just like so and we have you know an average very average stream that is being you know completely definitely definitely what what you know meme lords do but we're missing one big thing where's our avatar so what we'll do is we're going to add another scene that scene is going to be the avatar and ba bam there he is our avatar just hanging out no problem but it's missing the background so we do again we'll add another scene and guess what nested scene you got it so now we have this in an avatar you guys can see where this is going right you see where this is going i'm gonna go ahead and put the avatar ahead and then i'm just going to slowly but surely give our avatar a cool look like he knows what he's doing maybe just a background like so now you can also do shift and left click and you can make it a little bit wider than it usually is Ooh, amazing and now we have a glowy avatar and when we talk it moves all of it moves all of it moves if you like this type of stuff we are now officially vtubers that's right you heard it here first folks if you like to stream but you don't want to stream and you don't want to spend a lot of money on being a VTuber, like, you know, paying thousands and thousands of dollars, you can simply just be a VTuber by itself, you know, just, you know, just make, make whatever you want. Um, the world's your oyster. Don't let anybody tell you any different. And uh, you can just do it yourself. It's very, very simple. Just using one plugin in OBS. And that is it. Let's go ahead and recap real quick. We have finished up our entire Twitch and now we have completely started our first steps into OBS. Now the next video, we're going to be going over the best settings. We're going to, of course, be adding in more overlays. We're definitely not going to be watching any more anime potentially more importantly we're going to make sure that the rest of obs is complete and then we're going to start adding in our widgets so we're going to have our chat boxes we're going to start adding in some camera overlays and of course just like today i'll be throwing in lots of extra goodies about obs that i'm sure you have no clue about so i will make sure to post that video next week make sure to like and of course comment and if you do comment please leave a good message about our precious avatar let us know what you think in the comments below you guys have an excellent day and as always, Mr. E. Booty, signing out. See you soon. Bye.